Well, well, well. The Penguins' turnaround might be too little too late. In fact, I suspect that will be the case. But it's a lot of fun, however, perversely. Look at Saturday. You're up 4-1 at home against Tampa. Tampa ties at 4-4. Shades of Denver and Columbus. Squeaky bum time. But Bunning goes to the net and scores because that's what Bunning does. Nijelkovic sees it out and goal after a shaky third up till then. Penguins win 5-4. That gives them a 6-0-2 mark in their last eight. Sid was insane. And they know who Sid is in Liverpool, which I'll get to in a bit. And Gino. Heck, these last three weeks, it's been a whole different Gino. And it's not because his parents are here, although that's pretty cool. Something just clicked, and Gino is en fuego. He is bashing the ball like the Serrano of old. He has six goals and three helpers during this Penguins run. But it's more about Gino's jump and his drive. Bunning on Gino's line helps. His physicality creates room, so the Gino factor is huge. Carlson looking better than he mostly has. The -the below-the-line defensemen like Shea and St. Ivany and POJ have been very good. And the energy from the younger guys has been palpable. It's a freak show, as I've heard it said, like the 97 Pirates. But the biggest thing right now is the Geno factor and the Ned factor and the Sid factor is a constant, like it has been for 19 friggin' years. This is the Mark Madden Show. I am walking the path of totality today. Uh, The eclipse has come and gone and didn't blind anybody, except maybe the Penguins power play. Uh, Nah, they were blind already. You can't ignore the coaching thing with the Penguins. The, the, The coaching, I think, is a big part of them not doing as well as they could have this year. We are 77 games in, and they absolutely stink three-on-three still, and the power play still stinks, and if either was even a little better, either one, even a little better, the Penguins would be locked in a playoff spot. Like, if they were 20th in the league on the power play instead of 31st, they would be locked in a playoff spot. And three-on-three three in the power play, those are both directly affected by coaching a lot. And Sully's going to keep coaching. He's going to retain his job no matter what. And uh, I'll be blunt, I disagree. I wouldn't bring him back. Doesn't mean he's not a good coach. It just means he's not a good coach here in Pittsburgh anymore. His message has been lost. Uh, it's time to look what's actually happening under Mike Sullivan on the current Penguins and not just keep pointing to his resume, a resume which has become quite outdated since the Penguins last won a playoff series in 2018. Hashtag Hockey Tomlin. Mark Man.